Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to the special episode sponsored by Delta.Exchange. And I'm going to talk about a very sensitive topic today. A record number of Indians applied to give up citizenship last year. And I'm going to show you the web page. And you can see here, record number of Indians applied to give up citizenship last year. Lockdown backlog says officials. A record 1,63,370 Indians nationals renounced their citizenship in 2021. From 2014, I think there's more than 9 lakh people have given up citizenship of India. Why people are giving up the citizenship? And I, another site I'm going to show you, India's rich, richy rich are buying one-way ticket out of the country here. The rich are fleeing India, repeated survey shows Around 8,000 high net worth individuals or HNIs will leave India this year. 1,63,000 people leaving but 8,000 are uh, HNI clients. Let us look at this issue in a broader perspective. Now, one thing good about India, the economy is very good and people are making good money and real estate prices have appreciated. And I know even in many villages, even the agriculture land prices have shot up 100 times in last 15-20 years. Wherever you go, you hear this story, you know. So, I bought this piece of land for 1 crore, it has gone to 4 crore and so on. And I don't think that uh, in any other country, the real estate has appreciated so much. So, what happened? On one side, people are making good money through the land deal or any other business. But, the negative thing about India is the high taxation. So, many of these people, they think, why should I stay in India by paying huge taxes? Why not I leave India? Just, I'm going to take one simple example. You and me trade in stock market. What are the problems we face in the stock market? Let me tell you. We pay STT. We pay stamp duty. We pay clearing charges. We pay transaction charges. We pay SEBI charges. We pay education says. We pay brokerage, we pay GST on brokerage and GST on many other charges also. Then after that, if there is any peak margin, there is a peak margin penalty. Then 50% cash component you have to keep, otherwise you have to pay interest for that. And then in case of emergency, you cannot get any leverage from brokers. And worldwide the standard is only pay the span margin, but here you pay the span margin plus you pay the exposure margin extra margin. So, see stamp duty, STT, clearing charges, transaction charges, SEBI charges, education says, brokerage, GST, peak margin penalty, 50% cash component, otherwise interest, then no leverage from broker. And then at the end of the day, even you make money, the taxation is very high. Many people, they think how they can avoid this. And I'm talking about the stock market. If you're talking about the crypto, it's even worse. In addition to whatever I talk, in crypto, in addition to 1% TDS, 30% flat tax and 28% GST, uh, the loss in one currency uh, cannot be offset with a profit on the other currency. It is totally, you know, uh, crippled. And people who have got a lot of money, they are looking ways and means of leaving India and settling down in some other country and trading in global markets and crypto and you know that from India you cannot trade in US derivatives market. Forget about US, any derivative market abroad you cannot trade. So that's a rule but there are no such rules in other countries. So in fact many people have requested me uh, to find ways and means or legally how they can do all these things and in fact that is one of the main reasons why we are organizing this Dubai conference. So in Dubai conference, we will teach people and how they can give up Indian citizenship. Uh, no need to give Indian citizenship. How can they can become an NRI and they can stay more than six months abroad and then how they can trade in US markets and no STT, no stamp duty, no peak margin penalty, nothing. And the best thing is that if you are a resident of Singapore or Dubai and you are trading in US market, the income tax is zero, the taxation the taxation is zero, no capital gain tax. In fact, you know, some people have already started doing and some of them have actually contacted me and they are going to be 
the speakers in this Dubai conference. So they will share with you how they are making hell lot of money and without paying the tax. I'll just give you one simple example. Even US also taxation is very, very high. Uh, I forgot the name, this Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of uh, Facebook, and he wanted to come out with a public issue. One of his friends is a co-founder of Facebook. So they come out with offer for sale, means whatever the shares they were having. So they wanted to sell the shares. But in US, I think the capital gain tax is very, very high. I think it's about 40%. What this Zuckerberg's friend did, just one week before the share sale, he came to Singapore and requested for citizenship of Singapore. And the Singapore granted the citizenship. And then he gave up the US passport. And then he told the US government, now I'm a citizen of Singapore. So I'm selling my shares. And uh, there's a double taxation avoidance treaty. I'm not liable to pay tax to US government. I'm liable to pay tax only to Singapore government. Anyway, in Singapore, capital gain tax is zero. So he saved billions of dollars. So that is smart people. And there are many, many US people, I tell you, it's only for the middle class Indians, US is a dreamland. They want to go there, they work. But many, many ultra HNI clients, they want to leave uh, US for one or the other reason. Because US is one of the countries, one of the very few countries in the world, they tax the global income of a US tax resident. Most countries, they tax you only for the money made within that country. So whatever money you make outside the country, they don't tax. There are only few countries. So anyway, that is not our topic. So now the question is, when these people leave, what is the consequence? A lot of people with a lot of money, they are leaving India. So that means had they continued to stay in India, so they would have invested here, they would have traded here, so they would have contributed to the government tax kitty. So now that is getting out. So what happens, because the government wants more tax and many people are leaving, the government ends up getting less tax. When the government ends up getting less tax, what they will do? They will keep increasing the taxes. And you know, last week, you know, even for dal, chawal also, there was some uh, taxation, GST. So GST on everything. And even you, you want to go to ICU to die, also you have to pay GST. So why the government is getting less tax? They don't know how to get more tax. So they just keep on increasing the taxation. There was a very funny uh, joke going around in all the social media. Paneer 5% GST, uh, butter 18% GST, uh, masala 12% GST. Now paneer butter masala, so what is the GST? So the GST is being added everywhere. You know, uh, the previous finance minister, uh, P. Chidambaram, once he mentioned in a parliament, I liked it. Uh, I said that what he said I liked it, not him. So he said, at some point of time, uh, at some point, even a dishonest man becomes honest. At some point, even honest man becomes dishonest. So if the taxation is too high, one of my friends is getting Portugal citizenship only for the purpose of trading in crypto. Because he has got more than 10, 20 crores. And if he is trade in India, you pay 28% GST, 30% flat tax, 1% TDS, and then no loss offset. And he goes and gets a Portugal citizenship. The taxation is zero for uh, cryptos. When the people with a lot of money, when they leave, and remember, their contribution to the tax kitty goes down and it becomes zero. Had they continued here, they would have contributed. Because they did not contribute, government has less money, so the government want more money, then they come after the common man. So ultimately, the burden comes to the common man. So I think the government should consider all these things and favorably and, you know, uh, the taxation, you know, uh, when it comes to taxation, I also uh, made a joke. The taxation must be like, you know, honey taking, uh, honey bee taking honey from a flower and not, you know, 
uh, how the sugar cane juice is extracted from sugar cane right india is seen as you know i'm just sorry to use this word and many people see india as a tax terrorism country so favorable taxes reasonable taxes global standard taxes so this must be brought in in india so that this ultra hna clients they don't leave india so they stay here and they contribute to indian government but i may not be the right person to say all these things because i am the guy who is conducting a conference in dubai where i'm going to teach the people how they can trade in crypto and how can they trade in us market and uh, by without paying any taxes so anyway uh, no matter where we are our heart always lies with india so hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching